Hi, this is Carson with Progressive Mobility and Medical, and this is your new power wheelchair quick start guide. Anytime anybody gets a new power wheelchair, especially if it's your very first power chair, I recommend you read the owner's manual. I know that may seem boring, but everything that I say is in the owner's manual. Uh, so put it in a safe place, read up on it, get it back out later if you forget anything that I go over. It's also important because it has your serial number on it, and the serial number will become handy if you ever need service and repairs. Uh, if you get it, if you get your service and repair from the dealer you got your chair from, they will probably have your serial number uh, on file. But if you ever want to go elsewhere and get service, uh, important to have that serial number. The next thing to know is there is a sticker with our telephone number on it on the back corner of the wheelchair, so you will always have my telephone number if you do have service. Uh, that might be the most important thing on the whole chair. Next is there are two yellow levers attached to the motors behind the drive wheels. If you flip those levers down, it disengages the motor from the wheel, so it effectively puts it into neutral. So if you ever need to push the chair, say your batteries died and you were outside or down the hall or whatever, press those yellow levers down and it will put it into neutral. Now there is a small black handle at the back of the seat on the corner that if you pull that handle up, it reclines the backrest, just like a car seat. So pull that handle up and you can adjust the seat for your level of comfort. Next is of course the joystick control. The top button turns it on and off. Uh, one press for on and one press for off if you actually hit the button. Uh, once you turn it on, uh, all the lights will light up. The top row of lights shows you how much battery you have left and the middle row of lights show you your speed. So if you press the turtle button, you'll be going slower if you press the rabbit button, you will go fast, and there is a little horn in the middle. It's more of a beeper. It kind of sounds like a microwave, but there is a little horn on it. Now also, if you press that power button and keep pressing it after you've initially turned it on, so keep it held down for three seconds, it will go into drive lockout. This locks the chair so that nobody else can use it and you'll see that little wrench symbol flashing. So you push the power button down to turn it on, but keep the power button held down, and that locks your joystick. Now to unlock it, you turn it off, and when you turn it back on, press the horn button twice right after you turn it back on. That unlocks the joystick, and now the chair will work. Also, a little tip for driving the chair. I have it off to show you this so the chair doesn't go all over. But pressing the joystick like I'm doing there to the uh, maximum that it will go all the way to the end is going to give you a very herky-jerky ride. So it's better to do what I'm doing there. Very small little movements uh, with your fingertips. Big movements like this where you push it all the way to the end and then it stops is gonna make the chair very hard to control. Next, we'll go over charging. This is the battery charger. Uh, one end plugs into the wall, the other end plugs into the wheelchair. So, super easy. Uh, this is the charging port on the chair. It's on the front of the joystick. It has three pins, uh, three holes, for the joystick connector that has three pins. So, uh, there is the joystick connector. There's a little arrow on the top side of it. That arrow goes up so that your three pins are aligned correctly. And once you have the arrow facing up, just plug it in. You'll hear a little click. And then you will see the uh, battery indicator lights on the top of the joystick are scrolling back and forth. And that's showing you that it is in charging mode and that the chair will not drive. Uh, because they don't want you to drive away and rip the charger out of the wall. So, eight hours a night of charging, whether it needs it or not, plug it in every night, and the charger will shut off automatically once it's full, so there is no danger of overcharging the batteries. 
The last most important thing to know is if you have any questions at all, call us here at Progressive Mobility. If you need service, if anything breaks, doesn't seem to be working, if you just have questions about how to use the, the chair, certainly give us a call anytime. 724-228-4568. Thank you.